Thank you very much, Monica. Well, this is a wonderful movie. At the same time, very heartening, very moving, thought-provoking, pointing out a very, very important aspect of human psychology. The problem is not a region specific, a country specific. It is across the countries, across the cultures, across the religions. It's a question of deep human psychology issues. Since the human conscience evolved and with that, and this, the, the institution of the family evolved. And in that institution of family, the role of man and woman evolved. The masculine role, the feminine role, the bigger role, the lesser, lesser role, the protected and who is to be protected. Man and animal, animal instincts and manly instincts. Very, very deep issue of human psychology. Anyway, uh, it is, the movie uh, is since scripted in Pakistan and it points out to a very, very important issue. Let me say that it has already given a very, very powerful message across cross-section of Pakistan. The message is loud and clear. And since the media in Pakistan is very powerful these days, as my colleague was saying, that there are almost 70, 80 TV channels operating round the clock 24 hours, very, very independent, having their in independent views. And all kind of uh, discussions including the social, political, economic, all discussions are going on and everybody is listening to that, including these issues of domestic violence. So there, are, there is a lot of awareness. But you should also appreciate that this kind of movie generated from Pakistan and won Oscar award and it's bringing a universal kind of awareness ab about the problem. Monica pointed out to our uh, uh, partnership. I am thankful to the DLE partnership because of whom I am standing before you. I represent my part in Pakistan. And of course, the credit goes to Kathleen Meyer and his board of directors at DLE who are most active, most conscious, in fact, uh, also steering us to contribute positively between the three civil societies of uh, United States, India, and Pakistan. And the concern, the aspect of concern is that where the governments are facing difficult to move forward the citizen diplomacy should come to the fore and contribute in easing out certain miscommunications existing amongst the three societies. And you see, it has a historical perspective. In 47, when subcontinent was divided into two countries, it was the British Empire who was holding the sway. And British um, Empire, later on, the international role, the same role which the British Empire was holding, that role came to the United States. So United States has also a responsibility as far as the subcontinent is concerned. And we can appreciate that when Pakistan looks 
to the issues from its own perspective and expects that United States should give priority to the point of view which Pakistan holds. India also has the right to have the same expectations because every uh, entity has its own relative situations and standpoints. But you see, while holding those subjective inflexible positions, positions of inflexibilities, we cannot move forward. 1947 has gone, say, 65 years behind. Now we are in 2012. We have to move forward. And we have to sort out our problems because our enemies are poverty, unemployment, cultural conflicts, religious conflicts, which are creating problems for the nations, the universal community, the humanity. And in the age of internet, in the age of media, print media, electronic media, this fast movements of planes carrying thousands and lakhs of passengers from one country to the other, and bringing in new cross-cultural dimensions, bringing in new human recipes, the civil societies which represent the human angle, the human angle has to be important. The governments might be having their own agendas, but the civil societies have the universal human values. And given the enlightenment which has come with education, with exposure to the truth, they need to play a more positive role. And to the sad effect, I would say that establishing this DLD partnership is a very, very important step which has been taken. And I would request my colleagues, my, my, my fellows here in Delaware and across the country who have the opportunity to sit together and discuss the issues. And I tell you, if we have a positive approach towards the issues, there is no way that they cannot be sorted out. The only thing is that we have to look at the issues with the positivity. Because with subjective positions, we, may, we, we can't move forward. And you see, when we, we live in, in, in third millennium, where we are in the space, and when we look at the planet, the Mother Earth, it's a very tiny speck in the wilderness of the universe. And the Hubble, which, which is taking uh, those pictures, and we really look at those pictures, where are those borders? These borders are created by man. Borders on different accounts, on the basis of territories, language, mountains, weathers, religions, political borders. So we live in a different age where we are tiny against the wholeness of the universe and we do not know whether the life on any other planet exists or not. The life as per up to today's knowledge is only on this planet. And that is very precious. Should we fight or should we love? We should love. That is the message. The, and at this very point, the role of United States, which takes the leadership of the world in the third millennium, in this age of enlightenment, and in the age where many myths have broken and they are being broken. And where the humanity has to take the stride is very, very important. Very, very important. So we have to look at the big picture, panoramic picture of the planet, where 
many other issues are very, very important. The issue of poverty is very important. The issue of, of unemployment is, is very important. The issue of exploitation is very important. And this very issue which has been pointed out in this movie, of course, it relates to domestic violence and that is universal. And very rightly said by Kathleen Meyer that domestic violence is across the boards. So only with a combined human approach we uh, can address these problems. And as has been said, this world has been very beautiful if we would have built bridges instead of walls. So we need to build, build, build bridges. So on that account, I congratulate the Delaware chapter which is making very, very sincere and serious efforts for cross-cultural dialogue, for bringing the three communities together for these kind of discussions, and for facilitating uh, kind of uh, issues amongst the communities. So thank you very much for this opportunity, all of you. Thank you very much.